Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. My name is Michael Langdon and today what I want to do is show you how to use the Vivis JavaScript library to animate an SVG file which stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. And we're going to begin by showing you the Vivis website at GitHub. So here it is and if I refresh it you'll kind of see what happens here. And if we scroll down this page you'll see the different animation types. Here's delayed, here's async, and here's one by one. Uh, there are timing functions and all kinds of information. And then if we just click on this, it will take us to GitHub where you can actually get the library. Okay, here's, so here's your Vivis JS and Vivis Min. And that's where you get them from. So if you click on this and just copy and paste this into your JavaScript file or however you want to do it. I think if you click raw it takes you, there it is. So if you went like that and copied that in that should work. So to show you, here's my example and I'm just going to refresh this to show you it. And I did animate, I animated text because I wanted to make it look like it was writing it or drawing it. And there's actually two SVG files in here. And if we come here and we go view page source, here's our source. So what we do is we start with our two JavaScript libraries. We need jQuery.js and Vivis.js, or you can use the min Vivis file that I showed you. And under the body, we need two dividers because we're actually doing two SVG files. And then we need to instant instantiate our SVG file. And we go var brain viv equals new vivis and then our settings. So the first one is the divider that it's attached to, which is right there. And then the type, so we're doing a one by one animation, which, why, which is why it does each letter at a time. It's duration in milliseconds, the file that we're going to be using, which is text.svg. And then when it's done, you can have it run a function, which is right there. Okay. And what it does, it then stops this, resets it, destroys it grabs the divider and then removes the divider and then instantiates a new one and plays it. So that's that's it. 33 lines of code. And not really even 33 lines of code. Not very many lines of code as you can see. So that's all we need for our HTML and JavaScript. Very simple. So when we come back here then what we want to do is we want to then create an SVG file and so that's rather simple. Uh, I'm using Inkscape. Inkscape is free open source drawing program and so the first thing we're going to do is grab some text and I'm just going to type this as some text to work as some text to work with and we'll move this Make it bigger. Let's make it a little bigger. And then what, this is what we need to do, and this is what's important. First of all, I'm going to change this text to something a little more. Let's go Rockwell Extra Bold, and actually we'll make this. There we go. So if, now what we need to do is we need to come down here or up here and... Oh, what am I looking for? Oh, fill and stroke right here. So fill and stroke. And then what we need to do is we need to get rid of the fill because it doesn't animate that. It animates only the paths or the strokes. So we click stroke. And as you can see, that's what happens. And then what we can do is we can just make it thicker or thinner depending upon what we want it to do. Okay. So once that's done, 
And of course you can pick whatever text you want. Uh, sometimes this works a little better with a different font. Um, like a script font. Uh, like this one is probably a little better. Okay. Then what we need to do is we need to come up here, so we have our text highlighted, and we need to come up here and we need to go Object to Path. Now if we double click, we'll, we'll see that each letter has its own thing. And the way the animation works is it goes by, it goes from how each letter is stacked from the bottom to the top. So if I wanted to do like, like let's say I wanted to do this word first, I would push it to the bottom. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is come down to my file and just change it from text to text one and then save that and then we'll refresh it and you'll see what happens so here we go and so as you can see text is drawn first because it's at the bottom so you can make these adjustments and of course if you want to just handwritten out or written out or animated out I should say because it's not really written or handwritten you just leave it as is when you convert it from object to path and that's it that's all you need to do and of course you don't have to do just text you can do anything but remember it doesn't animate the fill only the paths and the strokes or the strokes so that's important to remember so this is learningengineer.com have a great day.